So there are a lot of updates we've been making to Kittle, and I want to go through a bunch of them right now. So if you need to grab a cup of coffee or some tea or whatever you like, go ahead and grab it, and let's go through these. So I'm going to start with two pretty big feature updates, one of those being mockups are now in the editor on the canvas. Before, you would click on Add Mockup, and it would kind of take you to this separate editor where you would adjust and pick out a mockup, but now the mockups are live right on your canvas. So you can make edits in live time and you can add as many as you want. You can add 10, 20, 30 mockups. And then if you change the color, change the text, change position, all of them update seamlessly together. This is such an amazing and faster way to make mockups and they even apply to Kittle flow. So you can add a flow, add a smart board to your mockup and change the scenery, change the background, make a flat lay of someone wearing a shirt to make that shirt be on concrete or wood or whatever you like. So go have fun with this specific feature because it's gonna save you a ton of time. The second biggest feature update over the last several weeks has been custom clipping masks. So now you can turn any object, any illustration, any text, into a custom mask, which I know tons of you have been asking for. And you can even draw a custom mask. So you can take the pen tool, create a special shape or a star or outline an illustration if you want, and create a custom mask all from using the pen tool. Eduardo did an excellent video on this showing you all the different ways to utilize the new clipping mask tool in Kittle, as well as how you can add multiple things to the mask, how you can use blending modes, how you can use textures. So definitely go check out that video to see how to become a clipping mask master. A more subtle and simple update we made is that the pen tool now works on the iPad and tablets. So if you are an iPad or tablet user for Kittle and you just like editing on there, now you can use the Apple Pencil along with the pen tool and you can draw, have much more flexibility creating your custom paths with the pen tool using the Apple Pencil or tablet tool, whichever one you are using. Another quick little update we made that is probably my personal favorite is now you can preview your fonts as you scroll without having to select them. So before you would have to select the font to actually see what it's gonna look like in your design or on your artboard. But now, as you can see, while you're scrolling and hovering over the different fonts, it's previewing your actual text in the editor, which is gonna save you a ton of time. This is probably my personal favorite update so far in the last couple of weeks, but you let me know uh, which of the updates we're going through is your favorite in the comments. Another big update that we've made is that you can now save or like any element, object, illustration, template, texture, and add it to a collection or your saved tab in Kittle. So over in the left side panel, you're gonna see the little likes tab or the likes section where you'll be saving different things like whether it's an illustration or maybe it's a panel, maybe it's an image that you liked and it's all gonna show up there. And to do this, all you have to do is select those three dots on the top right of any object or illustration in Kittle and then you'll see add to saves or add to likes or you can even create a collection where you can then view it in your tabbed area over in the likes panel. And if you didn't already know, you can actually bookmark like fonts over in the right panel. So you see the little heart button and if you like any of those fonts, it'll show up in your favorite fonts. And obviously if you uncheck it or unlike it, it'll go away from your favorite fonts. All right, two major updates we made to the dashboard or your Kittle profile is that you can search through fonts and you can search through graphics. So if you're in the fonts dashboard, you can actually search or go through the different style filters to look at all of the different fonts that are available to you in Kittle and you can even like them so that they show up in your likes panel in the editor, or you can just click to start using that font immediately if you know that that's the perfect one for you. Similarly, you can do this with graphics as well. So if you go to the graphics panel, you'll be able to see all of our illustrations or icons or images and do the same thing, adding them to your likes, creating collections, or simply just starting with maybe a set of icons or illustrations that you like right into the editor. So we did make a lot of updates and improvements to our text editing tools, and I did a video on that a couple of months ago. If you want to go see how you can turn individual characters into other fonts or colors or things like that. But an extra little added bonus is that you can now create hyperlinks 
that live right in your Kindle project. So you can highlight any text or any amount of text and add a link that maybe goes to a product or an Etsy listing or a blog or something like that, which makes this really, really beneficial if you're creating a presentation or if you perhaps need to share projects with a colleague or an individual or a client where they might need to click on something in live time and go to a different website to view maybe statistics or a product listing or whatever you want. Again, all you have to do is highlight it, add that hyperlink with the hyperlink button, and you can easily edit or delete it as you see fit. And speaking of sharing, we drastically improved how sharing works in Kittle. So now when you go up to sharing, you're gonna have a lot more control over the permissions and flexibility of what users, colleagues, clients can see when you share a link. Before, it might've been a little bit more convoluted where you'd have to wait for a request and do all this, that, and the other, but now you have a lot more flexibility on the permissions that you can give or not give when you're sharing a link to your Kittle project. Whether or not you want someone to be able to edit it immediately or if you just want them to view and follow you along as you're looking at something on Kittle. So definitely go check out some of those sharing features if that's something that you've been trying to do. This is going to be really, really great for teams but also just for individual creators, maybe working with clients or maybe you're working on a commission and need to share it. Whatever it is that you need to do, you can instantly share that Kittle project to get more eyes on the design. And lastly, we made a lot of improvements to our AI models as well as how Kittle flows work. And we released Seed Dream 4 in Kittle, which is an exceptional model at creating more realistic scenery and imagery. So if you are into AI and you need to generate some stuff, try giving Seed Dream 4 a try. It's really, really great. Again, at that hyper realistic or actual realistic imagery. Now, there are a lot more updates I'm sure we could talk about and go into the nuances too. And there's going to be a lot more improvements coming over the next few weeks. But you let me know in the comments which of these that we talked about today is your favorite. Which ones do you want to see? If you still haven't been able to do something in Kittle, we'd love to know what it is you're trying to do. So comment that down below. And to make sure you don't miss anything, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel, which is very easy. You have to just hit that subscribe button. It takes you one second. And I'd appreciate it if you also liked this video as well because it helps us out a ton. It allows us to make more exciting videos like this for you all, which I love doing. And so, yeah, we just need to know what it is that you all want. Comment that down below and be looking forward to the next video. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.